one of the very most popular user interface techniques uh, seen on Windows applications is the runtime menu. So when I say runtime menu, I'm referring to this file edit view type menu that appears at the top of pretty much every Windows application. And LabVIEW gives the ability to customize your runtime menu for your application. And this is obviously a good idea because putting commands where users expect to find them is, is essentially the essence of creating a good user interface. And also, chances are you don't need to expose all the default LabVIEW capabilities to your user. So in order to customize it in LabVIEW, click Edit and come down to Runtime Menu. It allows you to edit the Runtime Menu. Uh, and you'll see by default you have all of these options that are available to LabVIEW. Um, it's quite a lot. Chances are you don't need your user to be able to see all those. So if we come down to Custom, you'll see the preview goes blank. We just have these question marks. So I'm going to add File Menu back. People kind of expect File to be the first one. Um, then I'll add an element underneath file. Perhaps I'll add back the exit option because I want people to be able to exit my application. And that's just going to invoke the same as if I went file exit from uh, the regular LabVIEW menu. Uh, I also have the option of adding my own user items. So this item name I'm going to set to reset. And uh, the tag will be the same. The tag is how I refer to this event later when I handle it. So this is a very simple application, so I'll just add the two. You could go on and add as many as you want, multiple layers and levels. Um, when you're done, if you close it, it'll say, would you like to save the changes? I'm going to just say yes, it'll ask me where. Uh, for the demo, I don't really need to give it a title, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And then save the changes. So now I have a custom runtime menu. I, I want to be able to do something when that runtime menu changes, so uh, predictably use the event structure to handle uh, runtime menu events. So I'm going to create my event structure. I'm going to add an event case. Go to this VI. And you'll see you've got these menu selections here. So I want to go to the user menu selection. And you'll see I get this item tag being passed out of the event. Uh, and, and that's what I'm going to act on. So if I add a case structure here to determine which item tag uh, the user selected. You'll recall I called my user tag reset, and then let's just pop open a dialog to, to confirm that that's working. Um, so if I switch back to my front panel, I hit run, you'll see I've got this custom menu here, I had file, I have exit, uh, which also has a keyboard shortcut associated with it, uh, as the defaults do. I also have this reset option, and when I select reset, uh, I get the little dialog, or the, the code that I requested be run in here as executed. So using this technique you can add pretty much any type of logic and commands to the runtime menu where at least Windows users are familiar enough to be able to find that code. Let's just 